Many types of fish migrate on a regular basis, on time scales ranging from daily to annually are longer, and over distances ranging from a few meters to thousands of kilometers. Fish usually migrate to feed or to reproduce, but in other cases the reasons are unclear. Migrations involves the fish moving from one part of a water body to another on a regular basis. Some particular types of migration are anadromous, in which adult fish live in the sea and migrate into fresh water to spawn, and catadromous, in which adult fish live in fresh water and migrate into salt water to spawn. Marine forage fish often make large migrations between the spawning, feeding and nursery grounds. Movements are associated with ocean currents and with the availability of food in different areas at different times of year. The migratory movements may partly be linked to the fact that the fish cannot identify their own offspring and moving in this way prevents cannibalism. Some species have been described by the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea as highly migratory species. These are large pelagic fish that move in and out of the exclusive economic zones of different nations, and these are covered differently in the treaty from other fish. Salmon and striped bass are well-known anadromous fish, and freshwater eels are catadromous fish that make large migrations. The bull shark is endured a haline species that moves at will from fresh to salt water, and many marine fish make a deal vertical migration, rising to the surface to feed at night and sinking to lower layers of the ocean by day. Some fish such as tuna move to the north and south at different times of year following temperature gradients. The patterns of migration are of great interest to the fishing industry. Movements of fish in fresh water also occur, are often the fish swim upriver to spawn, and these traditional movements are increasingly being disrupted by the building of dams. Classification as with various other aspects of fish life, zoologists have developed empirical classifications for fish migrations. Two terms in particular have been in long-standing wide usage. Anadromous fish migrate from the sea up into fresh water to spawn. Examples are salmon and striped bass. Catadromous fish migrate from fresh water down into the sea to spawn. Dot. In a 1949 journal article, George S. Myers coined the inclusive term diadromous to refer to all fishes that migrate between the sea and fresh water. Like the two well-known terms, it was formed from classical Greek. Diadromous proved a useful word, but terms proposed by Myers for other types of diadromous fishes did not catch on. These included amphidromous, potamodromous, and oceanodromous. Although Though these classifications were originated for fishes, they are, in principle, applicable to any aquatic organism. Forage fish Forage fish often make great migrations between the spawning, feeding and nursery grounds. Schools of a particular stock usually travel in a triangle between these grounds. For example, one stock of herrings have the spawning ground in southern Norway, the feeding ground in Iceland, and the nursery ground in northern Norway. Wide triangular journeys such as these may be important because forage fish, when feeding, cannot distinguish their own offspring. Capellan are a forage fish of the smelled family found in the Atlantic and Arctic oceans. In summer, they graze on dense swarms of plankton at the edge of the ice shelf. Larger capellan also eat krill and other crustaceans. The capellan move inshore in large schools to spawn and migrate in spring and summer to feed in plankton-rich areas between Iceland, Greenland, and Jan Mayan. The migration is affected by ocean currents. Around Iceland maturing capellan make large northward feeding migrations in spring and summer. The return migration takes place in September to November.
The spawning migration starts north of Iceland in December or January. The diagram on the right shows the main spawning grounds and larval drift routes. Capellin on the way to feeding grounds is colored green, Capellin on the way back is blue, and the breeding grounds are red. In a paper published in 2009, researchers from Iceland recount their application of an interacting particle model to the Capellin stock around Iceland. Successfully predicting the spawning migration route for 2008. Highly migratory species. The term highly migratory species has its origins in Article 64 of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. The convention does not provide an operational definition of the term, but in an annex lists the species considered highly migratory by parties to the convention. The list includes tuna and tuna-alike species, pumfret, marlin, sailfish, swordfish, saurian ocean-going sharks, dolphins and other cetaceans. These high-trophic-level oceanodromous species undertake migrations of significant but variable distances across oceans for feeding, often on forage fish, or reproduction, and also have wide geographic distributions. Thus, these species are found both inside the 200 mile exclusive economic zones and in the high seas outside these zones. They are pelagic species, which means they mostly live in the open ocean and do not live near the sea floor, although they may spend part of the life cycle in nearshore waters. Highly migratory species can be compared with straddling stock and transboundary stock. Straddling stock range both within an E as well as in the high seas. Transboundary stock range in the EEZs of at least two countries. A stock can be both transboundary and straddling. Other examples, some of the best-known anadromous fishes of the Pacific salmon species, such as Chinook, Coho, Chum, Pink and Sockeye salmon. These salmon hatch in small freshwater stames. For that they migrate to the sea to mature, living there for two to six years. When mature, the salmon return to the same streams where they were hatched to spawn. Salmon are capable of going hundreds of kilometers upriver, and humans must install fish ladders in dams to enable the salmon to get past. Other examples of anadromous fishes are sea trout, three-spined stickleback, and shad. Several Pacific salmon have been introduced into the U.S. Great Lakes, and have become potamodromous, migrating between the natal waters to feeding grounds entirely within fresh water. The most remarkable catadromous fishes are freshwater eels of genus Anguilla, whose larvae drift from spawning grounds in the Sargasso Sea, sometimes for months or years, before entering freshwater river and streams as glass eels or elvis. An example of a Uri Haleen species is the bull shark, which lives in Lake Nicaragua of Central America and the Zambezi River of Africa. Both these habitats are freshwater, yet do sharks will also migrate to and from the ocean. Specifically, Lake Nicaragua bua sharks migrate to the Atlantic Ocean and Zambezi bua sharks migrate to the Indian Ocean. Deal vertical migration is a common behavior. Many marine species move to the surface at night to feed, then return to the depths during daytime. A number of large marine fishes, such as the tuna, migrate north and south annually, following temperature variations in the ocean. These are of great importance to fisheries. Freshwater fish migrations are usually shorter, typically from lake to stream or vice versa, for spawning purposes. However, potamodromous migrations of the endangered Colorado pike minnow of the Colorado River system can be extensive. Migrations to natal spawning grounds easily be 100 kilometers, with maximum distances of 300 kilometers reported from radio tagging studies. Colorado pike minnow migrations also display a high degree of homing and the fish may make upstream or downstream migrations to reach very specific spawning locations in whitewater canyons. 
Historic exploitation. Since prehistoric times humans have exploited certain anadromous fishes during their migrations into freshwater streams, when they are more vulnerable to capture. Societies dating to the milling stone horizon are known which exploited the anadromous fishery of Morrow Creek and other Pacific Coast estuaries. In Nevada the Paiute tribe has harvested migrating Lahontan cutthroat trout along the Truckee River since prehistoric times. This fishing practice continues to current times, and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has supported research to assure the water quality in the the Truckee can support suitable populations of the Lahontan cutthroat trout.